Hey you guys, I've got another parcel for you which I ordered uh, last month, came in a bit late but uh, I'm really eager to get into uh, reviewing this one, so let's get ripped into it. Alright, my latest model to the collection, even though that's not updated with uh, what PNSO have been releasing, I've been really excited about this one. Um, right, here we have the uh, Wally, the Albertosaurus. Now, uh, Things. I know a I know a Wally. He's a great guy, and he was kind enough to review my book. But we'll just leave it at that. Now this uh, packaging is just the same as the usual, except um, both sides are in uh, Mandarin, but that's uh, completely fine. By the way, that uh, makes this uh, packaging unique in my collection. So let's open this up. Again, we have that uh, that artwork. Lovely. Yeah, this is a uh, a unique package. It's strictly in um, uh, Mandarin because I I was just a bit too excited when I heard the news about it, and I didn't even wait until it came into the UK. But it's all right. Oh, look at that. Cherish that. Shame I don't have any uh, frames for this. These are absolutely amazing though. Ladies and gentlemen, here I present to you uh, an Albertosaurus. Now, if you're a fan of theropods, specifically the uh, Tyrannosaurids, you cannot, and I stress, you cannot miss out on this one. And I've been waiting ages for like this specimen to be like available on the market and boy did I get a right surprise when I heard news about this. And do you what right? I am not disappointed at all. In fact, right, this is actually <laughs> I'm gonna like I'm gonna like really compliment the uh dynamic posture there. In Albertosaurus, right, it's been known for the sleek design and the um, fleet footed uh, uh, lifestyle. And short sure, right, this model, this model is just perfect. Nothing wrong about that. It, it doesn't even need the uh, stand there. PNSO has been conscious of the fleet footedness in this, uh, in this uh, specimen there. Albertosaurus lived uh, 71 to 68 million years ago. It means uh, Alberta lizard which is where it was found. So many uh, remarkable specimens have been uh, found there. Also, um, being a Tyrannosauridae, it's also been erroneously mistaken for being the ancestor of uh, T-Rex, which is uh, completely false. Let me highlight that. Albertosaurus had um, eyes on the side of its skull. Whereas a T-Rex, they appeared uh, directly forward. They had a stereoscopic vision. But no, um, Albertosaurus was part of a uh, group called the Albertosaurines, which was a relative common around the Campanian age. These were like sleeker designs, and that was just one of a uh, few of the groups of Tyrannosauridae about. So these were like, you know, more fleet-footed predators, or of uh, pursuit predators, instead of like, you know, those that or like more strength-oriented, like a Daspetosaurus. Now, Daspetosaurus gets the title for the direct answer of uh, ancestor of T-Rex. So, now if anyone has any debates, you can just leave them in the comments below. I've reviewed a Papogorgosaurus. Now, Gorgosaurus is a, a sibling uh, relative to uh, Albertosaurus, lived around at the, the same stage. I fully invested a lot of effort into that video, so you can check that out in the link uh, above there. So from this point on, I'm just going to be reviewing the model. Let's start with the head here. I like this um, black and you know, patterning that um, PNSO does here. Adjustable jaw. 
lovely. Again, um, no lips. Yeah, these eyes I really like. And um, Albertosaurus was known to have these um, short horn-like uh, crests before the orbits there. This model here has a uh, a dark brown dorsal and a melding there, transitioning into a lighter colour. And these stripes here, this asymmetrical patterning, I really like. Sorry, you're gonna have to excuse the uh, focus of the camera there. And you've got an you've got an olive green coloration here. Very plausible. It, 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 is, it isn't like you know overdone. It's not like some like you know bright green like the T Rex of the uh, the Lost World or anything like that. The stripe patterning it's a bit more um, it's a bit more random. It's not like you know lazy. Yeah, and that tail nicely tapered off reminds me of the um, that red patterning. It reminds me of the uh, PNSO uh, Allosaurus. But the main highlight is the uh, posture here. One foot firmly planted on the ground while running. That would be the case for the Tyrannosauridae, though Allosaurus, though, sorry, Albertosaurus uh, probably weighed something like less than two tons. And this uh, model really does uh, complement that uh, lifestyle. And you've got the uh, other foot. Wow, look at the design there. Now this is a really thoughtful design. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to give this model a five star. Who who, who wouldn't really? All right. Now let's do a uh, comparison here. All right. Let's place uh, Cameron next to. Uh, Wally here. Right, with Cameron being something like 12 meters, and Albertosaurus being something like 9 meters. Um, do you know what, right? This, this isn't actually the, um, that bad. You look at the slender jaws compared to the more bulky, robust uh, jaws of uh, the T-Rex there. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, wins a uh, top mark there. I, mean, I, I love my medium-sized uh, theropods. So, again, well done, PNSO. Thank you again for watching, guys. Now, I uh, suppose you heard that news about uh, how long good uh, merging with everything dinosaur. Now, how long good have plenty of incredible products um, uh, available to them, so it makes it easy for me to get hold of them. And I do intend to review them, like several of them, like you know, by the end of this year. But currently, right now, I've got uh, quite a lot going for me. Now, for my mature audiences, Please, uh, if you're interested, pick up a copy of my uh, novel, Carnian Street, that's available to order online only in the, in the paperback and uh, ebook. Uh, the links will be uh, displayed at the end credits there. Alright, you guys, uh, take care. Look forward to another review.